challenge of the Montreal Protocol is to phase out of hydrochlorofluorocarbons, also known as HCFCs. Hydrochlorofluorocarbons are widely used in refrigeration air conditioning equipment as a refrigerant, as well as in foam applications as a blowing agent. Hydrochlorofluorocarbons are ozone depleting substances, but in addition they are also strong greenhouse gases. The Montreal Protocol is a very good example how a global agreement can benefit the environment and at the same time also benefit the industries. Indeed, the Montreal Protocol is one of the most successful environmental agreements ever. As a consequence and to shed light on potential alternatives with minimized climate impact, the Multilateral Fund approved in 2013 a project that will assess low global warming potential alternatives for air conditioning appliances in high ambient temperature countries. Through this project, six manufacturers built 14 prototypes and in addition they supplied nine base units for comparison reason. These were all tested and assessed at an international laboratory in the US and results have been published in the report. There are two challenges regarding high ambient countries and particularly Gulf countries regarding air conditioning. The first one is the fact that you have leakage, uh, a leakage uh, in a lot of uh, all the equipment. Uh, you can uh, reduce it uh, thanks to better training and uh, one of the actions which is very necessary for uh, high ambient countries is training. But also, and it is in my opinion the most important one, it is the energy efficiency of the systems since air conditioning represents a large amount of electricity consumption in these countries. So the prior project has uh, the, the, the aim to see how we could change the equipment using low, lower global uh, warming refrigerants. Higher ambient conditions result in higher degradation in performance in comparison to SCFCs. Therefore, the major concern in the high ambient conditions is the energy efficiency of various alternatives. This challenge has become more important with the increasing emphasis on energy consumption. We held a total of five international conferences in Dubai and we have also taken the manufacturers on study tours to China and Japan where they could be acquainted with the alternative technologies. Uh, I'm from the Chinese Energy Energy Energy, CHEAA. We are a long-term partner with the Chinese Energy 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 HCFC, Tai 这个 project contributed to the understanding of the high ambient temperature countries, especially in the field of technology transfer. Praha now is not a project anymore. It's come to be a process for us. We uh, look for something sustainable of the chemical and gases in the future. I am sure this will help us to reach our goal together with the important agencies, UNIDO and UNEP, we're working on Braha together with the countries.